From the F-86, Bob went on to test the F-100 Super Saber, the first line attack fighter capable of exceeding Mach 1 in level flight. Bob Hoover was called upon to demonstrate correct landing procedures in the Super Saber, as seen in this old training film. Aviation enthusiasts in this area soon will have an opportunity to witness a thrilling demonstration flight of the Air Force's F-100 Super Saber. Bob Hoover, North American Aviation Test and Demonstration Pilot, will make the F-100 do everything but talk when he appears here soon. Slow rolls, high speed passes, low speed passes and loops are only a part of the exciting exhibition flight Hoover puts on to demonstrate the versatility and capabilities of the Super Saber, backbone of our jet air force. I have enough time to flare and get it down okay. And uh, so then I crossed the, lake, the edge of the lake bed and I set up my landing and I, and I said, uh, it's just working out fine. They said, we've got the equipment rolling. And I said, we aren't gonna need it. And about that time I started to flare, to, to land, no flare. It couldn't, I'd run out of hydraulic pressure. And what happened, the system was designed with 50% of the capacity that we put in the production airplane. So my surviving that accident, by surviving, we were able to determine the inadequacy of the hydraulic when flow. When he got out of the hospital, Bob climbed back into the Super Saber to continue his testing. <laughs> was he scared? Oh, I had to get right back in it and, and, uh, and go through the, the same test that uh, had caused the explosions. Uh, the explosions were a new phenomena we, we never even knew about. Now they're as commonplace as eating and sleeping. They were called compressor stalls, but no one ever had a compressor stall before. That. Testing of the Super Saber was not without its own problems for RA.